So I'm super late for the consultation. They are now starting. Let's go! Ayang contributing factors. Ngano na himo ni siyang structure. Ha! 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 Hey everyone! Welcome to my first ever vlog. After numerous attempts, finally I decided to create one. One. One just for you guys. So hopefully you'll watch the entire video. Um, one of the reasons also why I created this vlog is because tinod anay lang. People only appreciate the aesthetic side of the design. They don't actually see what's behind it. The design process, conceptualization, and the space planning. So hopefully ma inspire po ang uban diha. Actually, we already submitted our first plate, I think, two weeks ago. So I'm super excited to share this with you guys. And yeah, once again, welcome. And this is Jania Yizem. So welcome to the first part of my vlog. Um, hopefully you will watch the entire video, not just this part. Um, I'm actually working at the terrace of our house. So if you hear kanang mga saba or agi sa motor, please bear with me. So um, I love working here because the air is super fresh and I am surrounded by plants and trees. So it's super helpful Jude, because the entire day I've been working with my laptop. So it's super important to let my eyes rest sometimes. I'm currently checking emails. A professor just emailed us a sample board presentation or a presentation board so wait let me show you i think aticha makabari designed this one it's actually a war for rescued animals and fan fact she actually joined the asian young designers award and represented university of san carlos and luckily she was part of the top 10 and won the best color scheme so basically, this is also what we are going to do. Some first plate, and hopefully, I can finish everything. So now I'll give you a glimpse of my floor plan. I actually, it's not yet finished, but hopefully, I can. So this is it, my floor plan. I know, guys, but it's just masabtan. This is not actually the original floral plan that I created. This is my third attempt of revising the space. Disclaimer, I am just experimenting since this is my first time designing a really big space. area. So if you guys don't know what is this, this is actually a water conservation and awareness center. Originally, my first design or floor plan was way simpler than this. Naaran to siya um, um, semicircle here and then linear lang niya. But then I had a consultation with my professor and he told me to remove unnecessary things and add essential areas for better circulation. Actually, my concept is inspired by the flow of water as you can see i'm using mostly curved elements they are connected with each other creating a curvilinear form as you can see all work on flonia is super visible jud and here this is my entryway and this is my exit way why i separated both because I want to create a space wherein everyone could really travel, where everyone could experience the everything in the space. And also in line with COVID, you know, observe social distancing, also not too crowded. So that's why Osarang entry and then they travel the entire space and then Osarang exit. And don't worry, I actually put an emergency exit here and also here. I think here also. I'm not yet sure. And if you're asking what is this, this is actually the CR or the comfort room. Originally created here. But then 
since na revise ng space, I still have to figure out where to put this one. So actually, this is just an outline. I'm not yet finished with everything. I still have to consult my my teacher if he's gonna approve of this, and hopefully he will, so I can um, proceed with my design already with the structure already. We'll have. Um, assignments to finish. Uh, hopefully, I can submit it before the deadline. This 12 midnight. It's already 9:42, and I still haven't even started anything yet. So hopefully, I can finish it. And please forgive me for having a very weird voice. I'm actually sick right now, and hopefully by tomorrow I'll be fine. And yeah, even though I really want to sleep, but I can't obviously. And that's the reality of being a design student. And actually, I'm used to it now. Like, since first year, hantod ka why to ganay. But yeah, I'm happy with what I'm doing. And hopefully, I'll be successful soon. See you guys. Uh, love? We, we, we. I just woke up. Huh? I love you, we. I love you. Oh, <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hello. Um, I'm actually heading down para mukaon sa kong lunch and probably maligo ko kay basi na akong crush niya mag ibug pa siya nako. And since I cannot do my design stuff today, I'll do it later. So see you guys. But before that, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial kung saon pag slide sa hand na ng bonggang bonga. Watch out! So, if I'm here to slide, I'm going to place it in the middle. If you kill it, if you want to position it, then you slide it. In three, three, okay. three, two, one, go! What? Okay, okay, okay. See, it's already done. It's already easy. Hey guys, I am actually heading home now. I just went to 7-Eleven to buy some snacks. Hey guys, good morning. Um, yeah, it's already 5 a.m. and I'm not yet finished with my assignment. I think I'm almost there. I'm 60 or 70 percent done. So yeah, I think I need to rest because I am physically tired and my eyes are killing me. My head is killing me. Actually, what you're hearing right now is the mass. It's currently ongoing. So. I think that's already a sign for me to rest and I still have classes later so I need my energy to recharge and hopefully I can pass my assignment again before 12 midnight so pray for me guys pray for me and for my health and yeah Secondly, what's not about inside? Thirdly, what's not about inside? 
guys and we'll have a so that's why we have heard of Koan Kanang window and door schedule in our Sorry, Manok is one of the sacred animals in Mindanao. More stylish, flashy, and as they walk through the door, so more like decorative. Hey guys, it's T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. It's Tuesday, so it means it's the consultation day. Um, normally, we do it face-to-face, -face, but because of COVID, we're going to do it online. So I'm going to give you a glimpse how consultation, online consultation looks like, like the process, like how are we going to present our plate. So today, I'm going to show my mood board, uh, my concept, and at the same time, my design morphology. So hopefully, my teacher will approve my proposed floor plan because it's already my third attempt. And hopefully, I can persuade him so I can start with my structure and I can also finalize my floor plans. The consultation will be on 2 p.m. I still have time to prepare. So, ciao. See you later. So I'm super late for the consultation. They are now starting. <sighs> I'm actually on my bed right now. Let's go. Men's ang mga forms, ang mga ayang contributing factors. Nanong nahimo ni siya ng structure. So na ako face one until four, and then so um mauni ako ang red face one sir. Basically the form of water, bodies of water, katong um round shape, and then this one kakining. Phase number two, kay ang land area, which is like medyo slopey, may dili siya even. And then sa phase three, sir, akong gi try of merge ang duha. And then mo nang ni come up ko aning phase number four, which is katong, katong the unison of the land and the water area. So basically, sir, kining last part is merg ing ani siya ang. Ang pag configure spaces nila ni Moha. Ah, ah. Final configuration. Okay, sir. So, Mara, sir. So far. Oh my gosh. Finally. Finally, my teacher approved my proposed design. After three attempts, finally, I can now proceed with uh, my um, sketch up and also uh, finalizing my floor plan. I need to rest because I am physically tired and my eyes are killing me, my head is killing me. as the brutalist style, one of the brutalist style in uh, architecture in the Philippines. Sambuanga International Airport, this is designed by Leandro Luxin and George Ramos.
Diri sir, kaya amo na niya katong gibutang nga word door sir, kini Oo uh, Okay O niya, so far kay wala ra niya, akong gitaput na sa akong sketch up Nag-uulbi ako sir, kay bas hindi niya kumahuman sir, bakit ako juga ay akong area siguro sir Ang ko sa perspective, kan para mang naro ko, what's the purpose niya mo Apila to ubang airs, nga wala ka na to di render, so Para to is ang rendering time niya mo, kato lang area nga na akay Uh, furniture of the kamar. There were so many things that I had to change, and now this is really it my final floor plan. Hmm, <laughs> Second floor. This is my workspace. Open workspace. The old, the old, the guy was the word the mangui. Da 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 da. Allah, the guy, the guy, the guy. Guys, guess what? I'm actually having a problem right now. Tomorrow is our deadline and my Enscape won't work. I don't know why or I don't know how to fix this. God help me. my gosh see 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 this is the problem so this is my board sketch layout and then i was able to make two boards so I have to make two more so I'm currently editing for our class presentation we're going to present our plates so um, I'm still editing and hopefully this will turn out well it's already 11 p.m. Actually, it's almost the deadline time. So I just really want to show you my presentation board before I finally submit it. So this is it. The Gai Dai, a proposed water conservation and awareness center. So please <laughs> don't judge the exterior part of my structure because I didn't really focus on that. I focused more on the interior part. So yeah, this is it <laughs> after three weeks. Three weeks of space planning, conceptualization, um, research, and endless revision. So this is the outcome of my hard work. Hopefully this is enough. Um, show you also my um, the interior aspect of my plate. So this is the open workstation for research and development. So I'm using neutral colors with blue accent. Um, this is the lobby and receiving area and this is actually my favorite part the aquarium and the viewing deck I love this space so here this is the exhibit and awareness space I actually showcased our municipality which is Tuburan because I want to show them our culture and also our festival and lastly the virtual water recreational facility this is where people can have fun can actually play with this can use this machine and they can virtually experience how water um, behaves in its natural environment so yeah i actually learned a lot upon creating this space so if this will 
um, come true or this will happen in the near future hopefully it can address our problem when it comes to unsafe and unsustainable water since out of 105 million Filipinos there are 7 million who rely on unsafe and sustainable water so and as for me kudos self congratulations because you made it yay I submitted my plate and the submission is actually 11.59 and I submitted 11.02 p.m. and yeah, great job. Time to sleep. Four consecutive nights, no sleep and it's worth it. Mm -hmm.